Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in the 49th Street at the bench. Guys, welcome back. I'm really excited for today's video because we're gonna be trying something new with the critiques. And right off the bat, I wanna ask you guys if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed today's format, let me know in the comments down below so like that I know to keep doing this. Also, really excited because today marks off the first time we're gonna try to upload two to three times a week. I wanna come out with weekly critiques, I wanna come out with weekly drawovers, as well as just weekly, just like other fun videos. So, so we're gonna try it. I don't know how consistent I'll be at three times a week, but we'll definitely give it a shot. Now with that said, if you guys want to be in on these critique videos, they're great for the community. They're, they're really, really good fun. All you got to do is use the hashtag ABCrit on your Instagram posts, and that's it. So today we want to take a look at facts. He's got a little straight letter, and notice this overlap right here. This is problematic, and the reason it's problematic is because he didn't allow for this to happen anywhere else. If you're going to include an overlap like that, you have to understand shape, form, and space. The reason being is because all physical objects occupy space. For example, if I have this wallet right here and this book right here, they cannot occupy the same space. So if my F overlaps my A, notice how F is higher up. And as a result, it ends, the bottom part of it ends higher than the top part and the lower part of my A. But that's not really happening in this image, is it? Because although F ends higher, then A, F still is on the same playing field as A on this area. And that's why that's an issue. Not to mention the fact that if you're going to do something as bold as this right here, as this overlap, then you have to include that somewhere else. And his letter structures aren't optimized for that. His letter structures don't allow for it. He could have easily have not connected the A and the K, doing something more along the lines of this, which will then have allowed him to do 3D going down, where he would have had an overlap here. Now, some of you guys could be saying, why didn't he just overlap here? And that's because the 3D angle is the same on both of these, so you would never have seen it because it's the same as this angle right here. Now this is really dope. I, I really, really like this piece. I know it's a little bit outdated and old, but I really enjoyed their Halloween event where you like played as like the shadow versions of your character and you were able to hunt the other people. That was a lot of fun. Getting into the critique, the first thing that stands out to me is your hard and soft edges. Everything in your drawing has a little bit of a soft edge to it and you're going to want to sharpen these up. Now edges are a huge part of art. They're kind of the unsung heroes of amazing, beautiful paintings because it's something that an amateur wouldn't really start to grasp but it's something that an intermediate artist or an advanced artist would start to kind of get a handle on. So that's where you're at. You're going to want to start getting a handle on your edges and really controlling those. An example I want to give is look at the specular highlight right here and then look at yours. You can immediately see how yours is a lot softer. And now that I point that out, you'll be able to see that in a lot of other places. And lastly, texture. Texture is one of the harder things in art for a lot of artists. And it's about time that in your artwork you start focusing on it because you're at that point. Look at the texture in this area of his hat and look at the complete lack of texture in yours and that even goes for this area right here this is probably gonna be the thumbnail of today's video because this is really dope stuff right here I love the bevel effect and it's something that a lot of you guys want to learn as well I've been getting asked this question a lot so let's give it a let's give it a go let's see if we can teach this real quick bevel is pretty simple there's a couple of different things you can do to a form in order to manipulate its form. You can do something like shearing where you slice pieces off. You can do something like extrude where you pull pieces out. There's another one called rounding and that's where you go ahead and take the edges of something and you round it out. So if you want it, theoretically, you can turn a cube into a sphere if you round enough. And then lastly, you have bevel which is exactly what we're seeing here. And these are the different ways to manipulate a shape. With these different manipulations, you can do anything you need to do and create anything out of any shape. And then from here, you just gotta learn how to shade and draw forms, and beveling becomes pretty easy. Because as you can see, all he's done is he has his typical letter, and we'll just do this, for example. And all you have to do from here is just draw the actual bevel, and then shade it according to your light source, which is pretty simplistic. Now the thing I wanna point out here is your light source. You have a bunch of specular highlights, which is what these things are, but they don't really seem to coincide with your light source. Now, because this is a word, we usually read left to right, and as a result, your bevel is telling us that your light source is top left. However, by the end of your image, we're looking at a top down light source, but your drop shadow is telling us that your light source is top right. So your light source is all over the place. Your light source doesn't know where it's coming from, and you can't even argue multiple light sources because you don't have any reflective or secondary highlights that would suggest a top left light source. So that's number one. Number one is get your light source 
solidified. Get it concrete. Be confident in that light source and abide by that religiously. Once you do that, everything comes together really, really, really easily. Once you have your light source, let's just go ahead and go by the drop shadow and say it's top right light source. Once you go ahead and have that, everything would be shaded according to that. And going back to the specular highlights, it also means that your specular highlights would be occurring on different places than they currently do. So these are things you want to keep an eye out for. Also, practice forms. Forms are going to be very important because there's no way that you have this halo shape coming down here and then you have have the form inside here as well. That doesn't really make much sense for your forms. Is it possible? Technically, yes, you can have that. But this, I can tell, is not what you were intending for. So overall, not bad at all, but definitely practice form and lighting, which also is going to make you practice value. Now, you have pretty decent control over your values, but you don't understand where they're supposed to be placed, and that's the important part. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Once again, if you guys enjoyed today's format, let me know. For sure, let me know, because I'd love to keep doing critiques this way. I think it's a little bit more interactive. Also, we're going to try to upload at least two times a week. We're going to go for three, but I'm not sure how consistent that'll be, but we'll, we're definitely going to try for it. Hopefully, you guys are excited for weekly critiques. As always, guys, you can find the artist in today's video in the description down below. Become part of the community and, you know, give them a, give them a follow. And also, feel free to jump into these critiques, man. It's a great, great, great activity for the community. It's a great for learning and it's an absolute blast so use the hashtag ab crit in order to be part of the video and if you want some just you know actual faster help and you don't want to wait for a video critique hit me up in my instagram dms i do try to get back to pretty much everybody hey if you guys enjoyed today's video why not give it a like it helps out the channel a bunch and lets me know you want more of this content and if you're new here become part of the community subscribe we come out with a lot of great content and it's good fun anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one but until then peace